It just, there's so many germs. It's the cleanest part of your body right These there. Are, what, your fingers? What? No, you don't know where those you fingers have been. Hey, look at that. Hot springs up ahead. We've always wanted to do that. We Check could out do... the Quapaw Bath, y'all. What to know about Bathhouse Row. Quapaw Bathhouse is the second operating bathhouse on the row, featuring thermal mineral water. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's it. We got the bathhouse, Sitch. It's a bathhouse. Tyler and Neil, welcome to our bathhouse. No. Pretty serious, and I think I think it should be. So I, I think it should too. I'm gonna try to calm Neil down, and we're gonna roll into this. Simmer it down, Neil. Yeah. We're gonna start this one right off by reading a scripture out of Isaiah. This is in the Old Testament, and it very clearly describes what happened to Jesus on the cross. So Isaiah chapter 53, verses three through five say, "He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain, like one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised." And we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. It is very important for us to understand something about Jesus and the cross. Not only did Jesus take my sin, he also took everyone else's sin. The things you did and the things that were done to you, all of it. There's another paraphrase of that scripture that says this in Isaiah 53, verse 4 through 5. It was our sin that did that to him, that ripped and tore and crushed him. Our sins, he took the punishment and that made us whole. Through his bruises, we get healed. We're like sheep who've wandered off and gotten lost. We've all done our own thing, gone our own way. And God has piled all of our sins, everything we've done wrong, on Him. Yeah. On Him. We have four questions that we're going to ask you to answer. And you can message us, or you can reply or respond, but these are questions for you to think through. The first question is, have you ever felt like you were overlooked by other people? Man, that'll hit home. Yeah. How do you react when other people get their way and you don't? Third question is, have you ever felt like God overlooked you? Maybe even in favor of someone else? Be honest with these. Number four, how do you handle it at work when somebody else gets promoted instead of you? Those are hard questions to ask yourself. That's like very like self-awareness, like reflective questions. And whether you tell us or tell someone you're close to or just write it down in a notebook, please really reflect on these. We're gonna do our best to talk a little bit more about why we respond the way that we do in our next devotional. But we want to pray that God speaks to you as you answer those. And that as we go deeper, we can get to the core of everything and everyone that maybe you haven't forgiven so that you can get free from it. So let's pray. Lord, thank you for the cross. Jesus, we do not deserve how much you love us. And we are thankful for the way that you treat us. Please help us to never, ever forget the cross and the sins you took on that that we could never handle on our own. In Jesus' name. Amen. There's a lot of noise out here. There can be a lot of noise in your life. So yep. please, it's good to reflect and to see where you can get right. Solid. That's, That's it. Solid. Solid episode. And guess what? Battery. Battery, Battery did not. Blast it. It's like from Avatar when he's doing the video diary. It's day 42. I'm definitely going to turn on those blue things by the end of the movie. <laughs> you don't know it yet, though. This documentary is suddenly turning very real. Oh,